Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So I went out to Pennsylvania to pay off a debt and while I was out there I hit my normal flea markets and I walked away with some amazing deals. Let's start with the most expensive stuff. I bought three of these carburetors and you guys who know these kind of things know that they go on uh, the 110, 125cc um, pit bikes and four-wheelers. I bought three of them and I paid 25 bucks for the three. They typically go for somewhere around 15 bucks each, so not quite half price, but a real good price. And they appear to be one of the better made, how does one say that, Kihiv Kihivin? Kivin? Let's call them Kivins for now. Um, then comes the $2 stuff, wire and LED lights. This whole box of Exolite bits and handle, two bucks, and uh, seems that the person probably clipped it from our friends there. This whole card of stuff, I bought it someplace separate, it was two bucks. The LED Christmas lights were two bucks. The box of Giadelli chocolates was two, and I gotta bring them inside because they're getting hot. And this Plano box was also two bucks. So there's all the expensive stuff, right? Not a bad haul for that. Then came a person, a, an older guy. I was going through, and I was looking at something on his on his bench, and he kind of. Picked it, you, you know, as I picked it up and I put it down, he picked it up again, threw it into this box, and I don't even recall what it was. So, everything that was in this box, and I took a bunch of it out and put it on the table here anything from hinges to, you know, valves, lights, rulers, <laughs> forks. <laughs> I mean, that's a brand nine to hide, um, putty knife, solder. A um, bunch of pipes you cut out to look like shins and knives. I'm not quite sure what was with this guy, but he seemed to like to bend screwdrivers. Um, husky, rusty, um, I don't know, diaper pins, I guess. Uh, 9 millimeter, 1.25 pitch. Extenders, nuts and bolts, all these, most of them aren't, aren't great, but, you, you know, some of them are bad. Um, all of this, including the hangers, I guess I paid three bucks for it. I, how do you pass that up for three bucks? All you have to do is use one piece. You know, this is um, lead solder, but it's... Fine for, or I assume it's lead solder, but I, I find it's fine for intake uh, manifolds on motorcycles, right? As I'm soldering my my pieces together, so there's all of that. Then came the various people with one dollar things, between power strips and headphones. I figured these could be handy for when I'm doing my fine work. Um, hour meters, pullers, batteries, <sighs> cigarette lighter fluid. This is SK, right? I mean, how do you pass up SK breaker bars? These are Exolite, and eventually, you know, they should probably end up over here. There's a couple of them. We've talked about these things. You guys know I like them a lot. Quarter inch drive on both sides, plus you can turn it as a handle and rulers and calipers this um, handy for you know obstructed bolts and and all um, clippers you can see the 50 cents there so once again all this stuff was, was cheap this is a, another exolite once again it pulls out flip it over um, actually it's not exolite it's a vac the lights, um, sea foam, this is a timer, wheels 
for this cart so it doesn't have to be roped to a dolly. I'm not sure what this was. As a matter of fact, I think this is what I was touching when he kind of threw it in the box and gave me all of this for $3. USB chargers. This is, you know, a car heater, and from that point of view, it really doesn't have much value. But what it also is, it's a, a good load for testing batteries. It's got the cooling fan. You got the plug there you could take off of there, and it's also fused. I mean, for a dollar, right? You got enough parts there and so forth um, to keep yourself really busy. And I think this pulled out, maybe there's a flashlight or something in here also. I don't know. Maybe not, it's just a handle. Battery tester, um, brush for cleaning. I don't know what the scissors exactly for, I have to bring it in. My wife actually took that out. Once again, I mentioned the timer. Um, I just updated to Apple type phone, so when you're buying the cables for a buck each, there's one of those two light switches. Uh, electronic fence controller. Um, I don't know which way is on. I'm not getting juice, so probably the battery's dead. But once again, it's got the LED cell there. Timer, timer, thermostat. <laughs> switches. Um, this is a CB power supply. This camera was a buck. I mean, give it a shot for a buck, right? right? Um, plastic bolts and um, washers. That was kind of in a pile of other stuff, so I'm not sure I even paid a dollar for it. Full can of Ant and Spider Killer. I don't know, mask, Mr. Burns maybe. Who knows? Um, a bunch of boxes for projects. Um, this is one of those lighted magnifying glasses, you know, for old guys who don't see very well. Sterilizer, you know. Um, it's UV, obviously. You put something in there and you turn it on, the UV light comes on and it kills it. Timer. Uh, these are good for if you're trying to do a little work cleaning out the garage. You kind of set the timer and say, I'm going to spend five minutes putting tools away. And you maze yourself on how many tools you could put away in five minutes. USB powered speakers. This is just a um, buzzer or bell buzzer, I guess. Electric buzzer. Um, a lot of times with this stuff, it's like uh, six items for five or 12 items for 10. So once again, a dollar or less. Clamps, um, dimmer switch, um, a lot of hose clamps, testers. You guys know I've talked about it enough. I like the lights that are kind of translucent. I don't much care for the solid colored ones, but you don't get a choice. But a lot of times you pick up a handful and you pay a dollar for all of it. Wire, I think it was just throw in. Clock, Howard Miller. Battery power, and I think it chimes. It's also very heavy here, how heavy it is. Um, kind of some back row stuff. LL beam thermos, it was clean inside, no problem. Corners, really handy when you're fabricating things. Um, once again, uh, for um, project boxes and one of those hurricane lamps, it was actually free. I picked it up and the person said, oh, I lost the bottom. You could have it for free. So I took it. Um, as I go to a lot of these flea markets, I obviously do pick up plenty of tools. I like the brand name stuff. I like the better stuff, right? Exolite, who's going to pass up Exolite or VAC, um, right? You, you definitely want to grab that stuff. As I'm doing more fabrication work, like emery boards for cleaning up a cover after one patches it or something like that, always handy. I mean, when you're picking up these kind of knives for a um, dollar, you can't pass them up. Oh, that reminds me. One other thing. There was a person 
who had a box of this item and you could see this is a Kpar. Uh, they were two bucks each. So this one was made in Italy. Very nice um, cutting tool. I should be handling it more carefully. It needs to be taken apart and cleaned up, but it's, it's very nice. Well, with this, and this was two dollars, it had a, um, a twin, which was the SOG, S-O-G, that was really nice with the handle and the whole bit. So I, I bought the two of them and I offered the, um, I said to my son, you could pick one. You can have the K-Bar or the SOG. And he grabbed that SOG. He said, I love SOGs. The SOG had the uh, tip broken off. So, um, you know, it kind of curled around. Actually, this area was sharpened on the SOG and the top was not. So he's got to reform a tip on it. But um, two bucks each, how could you pass them up? And you know what I find amazing is, it's not like my hands were the first set of hands in that box, right? Even for a lot of this stuff, my hands were not the first set of, of hands. As a matter of fact, when I picked up all this stuff, the uh, person said to me, yeah, you know, I'm surprised somebody hasn't grabbed it by now. I'm like, you know, when you could pick up, once again, Exolite and this whole thing for two bucks. How could you pass it up? I I don't I don't understand it. Um, now I have to integrate all this stuff in, and now the quads unpack. So um, I gotta get that off. As a matter of fact, we'll make a um, a movie about that in a uh, in a few. I gotta kind of clean up my act here and uh, sort it out um, like I'm just gonna put miscellaneous into this box and try to separate out the tools and and so forth um, right that way one one could make sense of it all there's no use buying all this stuff if you can't find it when you when you need it I didn't I, it doesn't seem like I talked about a lot of this. This is one of those uh, charges for NICAD batteries, obviously batteries. All the, you know, a buck. How could you pass it up? Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoy going shopping for it. <laughs> a dollar for a fence controller with the solar cells and everything else. Amazing. Anyway. I want you all to keep your feet down, your heads up, and get out to a flea market and go buy some deals. Take care now.